people and family, of course, you're locked on to DBS and we're ready to continue. With this segment, we are pleased to announce that the 7th annual Caribbean Youth Film Festival is officially launched and we have some stakeholders. The corporate world is definitely taking a greater step and investing in it, so this year should be amazing. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear what they all had to say. Soraya Best Joseph and I am the Divisional Head of Marketing and Corporate Communications of Massey Stolz and Usha Limited. Today we are very happy to be associated with the Caribbean Youth Film Festival. This is our first year coming on board this program. Um, it is aligned with our focus on youth development. We recognize that this film festival presents an avenue for young people to develop their skills, their talents, their abilities as far as this is concerned. Um, we also like the fact that this presents a powerful opportunity for storytelling, for persons to understand um, their country because young people will now be telling stories about different issues, situations, events. For us specifically though, um, given that we now have an environmental fund, because as you would be aware, last year when we introduced the plastic charge, we did say that the monies that would come into um, the fund would be used for environmental projects. So we are actually making a donation of $5,000 because we would like, as far as reasonably possible, that some of the stories that are told relate to plastic waste management. So kids can tell their peers, can share stories with their peers on the importance of sustainability, the importance of environmental conservation, but more specifically focused on plastic waste management because the charge is related to plastics. So we, we are excited of what could come out of such a program like this. And as always, you know, we look forward to continuing the relationship. Roger Joseph, Corporate Communications Manager of the Select. We've been with um, the Caribbean Youth Film Festival since its inception, when it started seven years ago. Uh, we have worked with the production and Colin Weeks to help uh, young people get into the business of filmmaking, video production, because we believe that there is a lot of young talent out there and we are trying to help through this workshop provide the opportunity for young people to explore these talents for them to perhaps discover skills that they may never knew that they had and they go on to become you know the next film producers or great video producers and um, we are very pleased with the progress that have been made so far, uh, we've seen the, the film festival grow uh, year on year and um, we're really, really uh, proud of the partnership that we have with the Caribbean Youth Film Festival. Colin Weeks, Caribbean Youth Film Festival, the festival director. Today we are here for the press launch of the 7th um, Annual Caribbean Youth Film Festival. We have been very fortunate to work with a number of, of, of strong um, corporate um, partners and we continue to hope that we build that, those relationships so that in itself is a good um, story that we could we could you know um, propel on um, we, we year by year we we try to introduce new initiatives to the project and we hope that um, you know our, our as I said our corporate sponsors are happy to be part of it and we could see them coming back so we're doing something right I know that we have a lot of work that we could still do um, this year particularly that we, we're doing a, a program with Marcy Stores where they will be where we will be working with them on an initiative, um, Reusable Waste, where young people will actually be producing um, short films on reusable waste. Uh, so, you know, as I said, the, the partnership that we working with um, Corporate St. Lucia, we hope that it'll be a strong one and we continue to, you know, look forward to those kind of um, partnerships. here this is the drumming facilitators here I know it's faces that you should be familiar with St. Lucia but of course just for formalities go ahead and introduce yourself I'm Nigel Nestor I'm originally from Chassay all right good stuff I'm Jason Arsene originally from uh, 
Salted bus. Salted bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you see, they definitely have personality. They are really talented when it comes to this. This is why they're the experts here. So today, we are going to get a crash course. We're going to learn. We're going to see the group perform as well. And you know what? I think right now, one of the most important things is the fact that you two can help groom the future drummers that we have or those who didn't even know that they had that talent. So how do you feel about that? Oh, that's good. Um, one of my things is I have always wanted to pass on the drumming or the African drumming experience, right? Mm -hmm. Because I thought I was going to be the last generation of African drummers. So I'm happy that there is a um, uh, place to allow that to happen. Good stuff. Yeah. How do you feel about working with the students in the platform? Yeah, like Nigel just said, boy, in the WhatsApp platform, it's very, very important. Without that, we don't know what would happen. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think any other um, organization goes in depth like that to teach drums and pass on the, uh, the skill and the, the tradition and the discipline to the, to the young ones. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, for well sure. although, I mean, having said that, Jason said that, but um, uh, I originally do some work with, with the Vidbute drummers, right? Mm -hmm. But, as, I mean, so it's basically the same thing. But um, it, what he says is true. WISAP has been doing that for like for the past six or so years, and drumming has always been included. So that's a, a, that's a good thing. If not, if, for example, um, as I'm here, PI wanted me to come down to do some workshop because PI is one of the, the original ballet communities, and it's dying out. Actually, the main drummer has amputated a leg because he's diabetic, right? The other drummer is up in castles, and nobody seemed to have, have developed the drumming or continue. And so a uh, teacher told me that they were losing it, and they wanted me to come and try to help see if they could restore it. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, at least we're going to save a few drummers or have a few drummers for the future. All right, well, you see, that's what it's all about. And right now, it's time to get into the fun stuff. So here's a sneak peek at what they've been working really hard at. And let's go check it out. So now you have a little taste of what the group has been hard at work at, but you know what? Someone who otherwise stays behind the scene is about to take the spotlight. So my cameraman, Kwame, let's see if he can handle the hot seat and keep that drum beat. 